Netflix has ruined my life. That's a big statement to say, I know. But I know a lot of you can relate to this. Now, I've never been a big TV show watcher. Like, as a kid, I definitely was. Like, the big, the big comfy couch was my shit. And, like, My Name is Earl. And anything like that. Corner Gas. All that. My favorites. But I've never been someone on Netflix to sit down and watch a whole series of shows. Whatever. But as of the last year... I have fallen into the epitome of binge-watching TV shows. I have so many things to say right now. I started off, I've always been a huge movie watcher. I love movies, especially horror movies. I've watched every horror movie, thriller, anything scary on Netflix. I have watched everyone. Like, I'm telling you. Like, the subtitled ones, anything. Okay? I am... Such a fan of horror movies, it's insane. I'm surprised I haven't murdered someone yet. I always refused to watch shows. Just because I'm not... Well, I've never been a huge fan of TV shows. I like a good hour to two hour, maybe even three hour movie. So the story's completely wrapped up. I don't like when something's dragged out long enough. And I always had that mentality of shows drag out things for way too long. I like skit shows where it's like every episode is something different, like Goosebumps. I've been watching that recently and that is amazing because every single episode is a completely different story with completely different characters. It's like a tiny little movie inside this huge compilation of happiness and greatness. But I've never been really one to watch one storyline go out for so many episodes and so many seasons. It just, it was always something I hated. And now, I have watched so many TV shows, TV shows, TV shows, Hemlock Grove, uh, The Vampire Diaries, Skins, um, <sighs> Secret Life of an American Teenager, which was taken off before I got to watch the final season, and I'm not salty, bitch, I ain't salty, I'm a little pissed, I ain't salty, bitch, <clears throat> I was literally on the first episode of the last season on Netflix, and they just went, Nope. You done. <laughs> anyway, I'm not salty. I'm not salty. I haven't watched Supernatural. My friend Megan keeps saying I need to watch that. I just, I don't want to. It doesn't seem like my thing, despite my love of horror. Like, it's just... And the fact that it has 13 seasons, like, I know all I have to do is put it on my TV and sit back, but I'm just way too lazy for that. Oh, that's so bad. Mm. Anyway. Too much. Anyway. So, anytime there's a show on Netflix now that I haven't seen yet, I get so enveloped in it. And I need help. <laughs> Like, as soon as the show is completely over and it's announced that that was the final season, like, you're never going to get something else, my heart breaks. Because I'm like, what do I do with my life now? Like, there is nothing I can do now. I need Jesus. I need someone to worship, bitch. I need someone. I need a life. That's what I need. Comment, like, subscribe. Do what you want to do. I'll see you guys in the next video. Comment down below if you guys actually feel the same way or can relate to this. And if you guys actually do watch shows. Because I know a lot of people that actually love shows. And me just sitting there like, I used to hate them, but now I don't know what happened. I'm that weird kid. I'm special. Give me attention. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Goodbye.